Stick around and I'll show you how to stream your Teams meetings to your favourite social media sites. So to get started broadcasting, first of all we need to bring Teams into OBS. Now the best way to do this is by in the sources panel in OBS, click the plus icon and we're going to insert a window capture and we're going to name this one to Microsoft Teams. And by using the window capture it's going to allow us to record a specific window even if we tab out of that window it's still going to be showing as the source in OBS. So we're going to select this from the window here, we've hit the drop down and we've got teams.exe. The program has to be opened for this to work. Uh, so we're going to set teams.exe. So now it's going to capture everything that we are showing in Teams. If we hit OK. Uh, so basically I don't have a meeting set up at the moment. I have a pre-recorded meeting, uh, but it's going to work in the same way. So I'm going to explain how you will do it. When you enter a Teams meeting, you'll click the little three dots at the bottom of your Teams meeting and then you'll enter full screen, and then that gets rid of all the Teams UI interface um, from the screen. So you'll only see basically everyone's webcam or whatever the live meetings, like whatever's happening in the live meeting. So this is how your Teams meeting is going to start appearing in OBS. And we can build upon this within OBS. So we can add titles, logos, um, bottom thirds, uh, anything like that. So at the moment um, I'm just going to start off by adding some text. So we'll add a text GDI. Um, I've already made a few of these. Uh, so I'm just going to load in Hugo's one. Um, and basically all this is is a text GDI if I show you the properties with his name and I'm using just a background colour and just moving the opacity up to 100%. Um, and then that's just going to allow me to uh, just add a bit of edge to the background. Uh, so I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to do the same for the other two. So I have already made these just to uh, make this process a lot quicker. Um, so I'm just going to bring this in over here. And you can just align it by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. There we go. That looks perfect to me. Text GDI again, and I'm going to bring in Mark. And uh, Helen down here, I'm just going to uh, change into a, another image. She didn't have a webcam uh, on at the time, so I'm just going to use this as a good excuse to show you how you can import images and show other information. You could put a video here as well, so we'll go to uh, Image. And we're going to select the first image, which is our Color 365 logo uh, for Global Con 2. Just going to chuck that in there. And I'm going to bring in another image. And it's going to be image 2, I believe, which is a background. Um, scale that down. We'll move that in there as well. So if you've watched the Scenes and Sources part of this video, um, you'll know how to add images and stuff like that. So I'm just going to drag that one underneath and I'm just going to scale this so it looks reasonably okay. And then again using the arrow keys I'm just going to kind of align it up until it looks right. And that will do. Uh, I'm just going to scale this down a bit because the image is slightly, uh, slightly off. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, and then finally, I'm just going to add our watermark just over the top, which is this one. And we'll just scale that down as well. Um, I'm not sure why this one's so big. I'm just going to scale that down and chuck that up in the uh, top left corner there. So that's how our, our stream is going to look when we start broadcasting that to Facebook and YouTube. Um, and I'm also going to show you Restream as well. So once this is in place, we need to go ahead and 
grab our RTMP um, URL from Facebook, YouTube, Restream, however you want to broadcast your stream, and you also need to grab the stream key. Uh, it's good to point out that you do not want to share any of the information with anybody else. Uh, the reason being is because anyone with access to your stream key uh, and your URL will be able to stream onto your uh, onto your page or wherever you're streaming. Um, and it's not really ideal. So only give that out to people that you are happy for to like stream onto um, onto your social media pages. So next up, we're going to go ahead and grab these uh, pieces of information from our Facebook site. We'll start with Facebook first. So we're just going to head over to Facebook and I'm just going to go to a page that I made a couple of years ago, which I don't really use anymore. Um, and the best way to find your stream key is uh, just here. So it says create live. If it's not here, it'll be in the create post section under live video. So I'm just going to go ahead and click live. It's going to generate our live stream. And when you go to use stream key here, it will show you your server URL and your stream key. Now I'm not going to be showing you these. These will be blurred out in the video. Um, but basically you want to copy these and uh, move them into uh, OBS. So we're going to, I'm going to use Notepad just to uh, copy these into the. So we'll copy the stream URL for Facebook and we'll copy the stream key. Okay, and now what you want to do with this information is we can. Um, just quickly pop over to this quickly. So yeah, we can go over to OBS and go to our settings down in the bottom right. And then you want to go to the stream uh, stream tab. I've already put this already in here. Um, so you want to put the RTMP server into the uh, server bar and the stream key into the stream uh, the stream key bar. Once you've done that, you hit apply and hit OK. Um, I recommend using the custom. Apparently, there's a lot less delay within your stream, so there's better interaction with um, with your viewers as well. Uh, you can use any of the presets, and basically I think what the presets do is just holds the server information for you, so you don't have to get that, it's just the stream key that you need to change, but yeah, I prefer to use custom, and then we'll click OK. So what will happen now is you want to click start streaming, and that doesn't actually mean you've gone live, but what it means is that this image here, this uh, scene that we've got, is being broadcasted to Facebook. Um, but you haven't actually gone live in Facebook yet. So um, we can see that we're live down in the bottom right here. We can see that the connection is really good. Um, CPU usage is really good. So we don't need to worry about any issues with, uh, with the stream. And to go back to here, uh, we can set up our title, so we'll put in test and description. I'm just going to write something. I'm just going to publish as a test broadcast because I don't want anybody else uh, seeing what we're uh, doing with this at the moment. So now that we can see that our OBS stream is streaming to uh, Facebook here, and we can just click and go live down here. In my case, it's going to be start test, um, and that's going to basically start streaming. So in terms of the RTMP uh, URL and the stream key, it's exactly the same for YouTube. I'm just going to show you how to go ahead and grab your YouTube one now. So I'm going to head over to youtube.com. Once you're logged in, uh, we're going to go up here to the top right corner and hit create and then go live. It's going to take you to the YouTube studio for the live streaming. I'm just going to dismiss that. Uh, we're going to create a title. Um, uh, title name for our stream and then I'm just going to hit private don't want anyone else to see this right now and uh, click create stream so you'll now be greeted with this window and you'll find your stream URL here and uh, your stream key is here this one's hidden um, so you just want to copy these and put them into the same values 
um, that was being asked for in the uh, stream tab of the settings in OBS. So finally, I'm going to show you how Restream works. Now, Restream is really clever. So you can stream to Restream, and Restream itself will stream out to 40 or 50 different uh, social media sites that you want to stream to. Um, it's really handy. You can choose which ones it does stream to and which ones it doesn't. Um, the only flaw with using Restream is there is like double the le double the delay. Uh, because you're obviously streaming to a platform which is then streaming out to a, like a secondary platform. So there will be maybe a 15, 20 second delay by using this. But I'll show you why it's really useful. So we head over to restream uh, .io. And we'll go and log in or create an account. Once you create an account, you can log in and go to uh, destinations here. And other than the destinations, you can add a channel, and there's so many different ones that you can add. So we've got Facebook Live, uh, Twitch if you wanted to, YouTube Live, LinkedIn uh, Live as well. Um, there's loads of ones, loads of them on here. Um, I've already got them set up at the moment. So basically, what you'd be doing to set these up is grabbing your stream keys from where we found them in Facebook, where we found them in YouTube, uh, and then just putting them into here. And then what you want to do with this is then use the uh, RTMP server and stream key from Restream and put that into your OBS ends. Now the really gr great thing about using Restream as well is there is a chat tab up here on the left hand side. And we're just going to open it in browser just so I can show you. You can download it for Windows if you wanted to. Um, it's a pretty good plugin. Uh, but we're going to open it in browser. And what this will do is it will show you your message feed um, from all of your social media platforms that you're streaming to. So you'll get all of your chat from Facebook, all of your chat from YouTube, all of your chat from LinkedIn. So you can like monitor and answer questions like live um, throughout all of those platforms without having multiple windows open. Um, you can just select to hit, see just one of them, um, but it's useful just to have them all open. So yeah, that's why I would use Restream. So just to recap on everything we've just gone over. So we've grabbed our stream key from YouTube for this one, which is our stream URL and our stream key. We've gone into OBS, gone to settings, gone to stream, and put in our information up here. Pressed apply and OK. We've hit start streaming on the panel down in the right. And then what that does is it sends the video source to YouTube so we can see it now in YouTube. And then all you have to do to go live is just press the big go live button up at the top here. Uh, there'll be similar buttons for whatever uh, streaming platform you're using. Um, but yeah, that's how you uh, bring a Microsoft Teams meeting into uh, your social media as a live broadcast. Mm -hmm.